Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to test the mass airflow sensor in your vehicle. So let's go ahead and get started. To complete this, all you're going to need is a multimeter and either some pins or paper clips or some, some thin copper wire that you can use as some reverse probes. Now to locate the mass airflow sensor in your vehicle, if you're looking under your hood, you'll have your air intake canister where your filter is, and then you'll have your intake duct that goes to your throttle body. You'll find it in that path on this particular vehicle. It's located right here, which is right after the uh, intake canister and right before the actual intake duct goes into the throttle body. But you'll find it in that vicinity. Some cars will have it underneath or whatever, but you'll, you'll find it in that basic area is where you'll locate it. So here's our harness that goes into the mass airflow sensor. On this particular one here, we have five, five little tabs there. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the car to the power on position. We're going to ground the multimeter on the battery. And then we're going to go ahead and use our positive lead and just test each one until we get our voltage reading. That way we can identify the 12 volt power coming in. Here's our connection to our multimeter coming into the negative on the battery terminal. And now let's connect the positive after we turn the power of the car on. You don't want to start the car, just turn the power on. Next, we're going to get our multimeter and we're going to turn it to 20 volts. There we go. So now we're going to take our positive lead right here and then we're going to test those five pins on the harness until we find the one that has the voltage. I'm going to take the positive lead. We're going to test each one of these to see which one is giving us 12 volts. So we'll start here on the far right and we have nothing. That's see here the next one getting 4.9. Next one nothing. And here is our, well, 11.9, but our 12 volt power right here. So this is the second from the left. Second from the left. So this one here, second from the left. So if we turn this over, second from the left is the red wire. So that looks like that is our the red wire is our um, 12 volt power in. So now let's test for ground. Next, we're gonna test the ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this. We're gonna put it right down here for continuity. So that way we can hear it beep right there. And let's test it. So now we're gonna take the lead and we know that the, the red one, which is Second from the left, we know that that one is the 12 volt power, so we don't want to touch that one. But let's take this and test for ground. And there's ground right there. Let's check the other ones. Okay, so we know the far right. And the third from the right, we're skipping that one. Do this one, nothing. So if we look here on the bottom, that makes sense because we have the two black wires going to the two that are testing for ground. We have the red going for the 12 volt power. So now what we have here, and I'll get a close up, we have the orange and the yellow. Those are our two signal wires, signal for the sensor and the sensor ground, which are the two that we're going to be using now to test the sensor itself. We have the orange second from the left and the yellow on the far right. So those are the two that are going to be getting tested. So remember what they are because we're going to go ahead and we are going to back probe them with um, some light gauge wire. You can also use paper clips, pins, whatever you want to do. We want to make sure you get a good connection. So we're going to go ahead and plug this back in to the sensor. And then we will go ahead and back probe it. Now to back probe it, if you take the harness, turn it around on the back, You'll see where the let me there we go where the wires are going in. We're going to insert either a pin or a wire 
alongside of it so until it goes all the way back and meets the metal lead inside so that's what back probing is so let me go ahead I'm gonna get this wire and we're gonna insert it so I have this copper wire I'm gonna insert it here on the signal wire the yellow one we're gonna slide it right up in here and you want to push it as far as it will go until it meets the the metal lead in there so we are there we go we have it all the way in so now we'll put the other one in then we'll strip this other end and that's where we'll connect the multimeter to it next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put it on back to 20 volts there we go and then we're going to go inside the vehicle we're going to start the car but you want to make sure that you check the vehicle specs for your vehicle as far as what the reading should be on your mass airflow sensor. I went ahead and started the engine. We have the one wire connected to the one uh, probe that we put in. And then we're going to take the ground and connect it to the other one right here. And then we'll take a look and see what the voltage reading should be for this particular vehicle. It should be around 2.5 at idle, which is where we're at right now. But like I said before, you have to check for your vehicle because sometimes they vary. So let's see it at idle, and then we'll go ahead and do an acceleration test. It should go up, and then it should come down gradually to, to show that it is working properly. I'm going to connect it here. And we are at 2.38 volts, uh, which is actually pretty good. I mean, 2.5 is where you want to be. Uh, we're pretty close on that. And uh, just for the records, this is a Chevy Trailblazer with a GM 5.3 liter V8 engine. In case that's the vehicle that you're working on, that is the reading that you're looking for. So let's go ahead and accelerate gradually. And then it should increase with it. And when we let off, it should come back down slowly. All right, do me a favor. Start accelerating slowly. Now nope, keep going up. Keep going up. Now come down. All right, what we saw there um, indicates that this is a faulty mass airflow sensor because normally what you want to see, and at idle, this thing is perfect. It's pretty stable, but as you saw when we accelerated, it was all over the place. What you want to see is a steady increase in voltage and a steady decrease when we lay off the acceleration and the RPMs come down. This one was bouncing all over the place, up and down and all over the place, which uh, shows me that this thing is faulty. It needs to be replaced. Okay, well, that wraps up this video on how to test a mass airflow sensor. Um, as we just saw and I just mentioned, this one looks bad because as we increase the throttle, instead of the voltage going up as it should, it's actually bouncing around and going down all that stuff. So normally you would go up gradually, come down gradually. So that wraps up this video. I hope this video helped you out. Please send me any questions or comments you may have. I would love to hear from you. And as always, I appreciate all of the support. So please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.